Hi, my name is Michael, and I have a, just a quick tip for ADAPT learning on hot graphics. Now, this is a hot graphic right here. It's, it's just an image with these pins that you can click on in front of it, and you can position these pins wherever you want on the image, and a user can click on it and get more information about what the pin is covering. So, the difficulty with this is that you have to enter the number in here for this position top and position left values and then click save then click preview then come in here and look to see if the pin is where you want it now that's not very fun to do when you have several pins and they need to be in very specific places so here's just a quick way of getting that done and it involves opening the developer tools and manipulating the numbers in there in your browser so you can come here, right click on the pin, it's important that you click on the pin itself. Right click, then say inspect element. And what you're saying is, show me the code in the HTML for this pin. So I'll say inspect element, and it'll take me right to this HTML element that's showing me this hot graphic I pin icon. The link above it is this A tag, and that's the one that we actually want. You can see here that it says style equals top 0% and left 0%. And those are the exact same numbers that we're filling in over here. So if we click on that A tag, then it brings up all the styles on the right here. And I can actually click on the number and use the arrow keys to nudge it up or down depending on where I want the pin. You can see that it changes instantly, and I can see exactly where the pin is going to be with this given number. If I were to copy this 18% and go back here and put it in here, I'd really just want the, the number 18. I wouldn't want the percentage sign over here. It would position the pin exactly right here the way I have it if I kept left zero. Now that you can see I have two pins here, so I can actually right click on the second pin and say inspect element and go find its anchor tag, which is right above this div right here. So you go into the anchor tag, you can see top zero and left zero. And I will just nudge that one down and maybe we'll nudge it to the left a little bit, or to the right. What these numbers are doing is it's saying, move this pin 4% from the top and 11% from the left and that's how you calculate the distances. So if you want to keep on doing a guess and check over here, you can, or you can just right click, inspect the element, and change the numbers here. Now, the gotcha is that if you refresh the page, we'll go back into the section here, the pins go right back here. So these changes that you're making in the developer tool are not permanent. You need to write them down and, assign, and make sure you write them down with the pin name that you want to associate them with. Then go back to the Adapt Builder once you have all the values and fill in the values here. Then you can save and come back and preview and it will look exactly the way you had it with these numbers down in the developer tools. So I hope that helps. I've heard of a lot of people being frustrated with having to enter the numbers through guess and check but this has really worked for me.